Beth Harwell's run for governor leaves a wide open race for House Speaker here. I'm certainly giving strong consideration to a run for speaker. East Tennessee Representative David Hawk says he'll likely make a decision once it's clear who will be elected to the House. There is record turnover among the 99 members who select the new speaker at the start of next January's session. Uh, and I know my strengths are in policy, so we'll see if the legislature as a whole feels that that's where they think the next speaker needs to be, and we'll go from there. Representative Hawk spearheaded a major prong of the legislature's opioid bill that placed limits and more scrutiny on prescriptions. Only Representative Curtis Johnson has officially declared a run for speaker, but House Republican leader Glenn Cassida is likely to enter once he finishes trying to elect more GOP members to the House. Several other lawmakers are said to be considering, but Hawk has a goal no matter what to avoid dysfunction in the House. If we become dysfunctional, then we weaken the legislative branch of government and uh, it, it allows the judicial and the executive branches of government to, to gain strength. Which means it's part of the speaker's job to maintain that equal power footing with the courts and the governor's office here. Reporting from the state capitol, Chris Bungart.